hi there let's say you are writing in latex and you have to add it two graphics one in a eps format and another one in png format so let's see what's the difference if you zoom into the eps format or pdf format since it's in vector graphics it's quite sharp even if you, even if you are zooming too much it doesn't matter so that's the good the good side of the vector graphics on the other hand if you zoom into the png version so this image was added in latex as a png the source was is a png image or jpeg or or other formats like that suddenly it gets pixelated quite easily so in this video we will see if we have such images uh, such figures coming from let's say from excel or from open office how can you create an EPS version like this so that even if you zoom it doesn't get pixelated so let's see how it how it works so I assume that I have this figure ready and I would like to create its corresponding EPS format so what do I do is so I copy this figure I go to open office uh, open office impress I paste it well I could paste a little bit of spatial paste spatial I usually prefer ZDI meta file so it keeps all the nice vector stuff and now to create its corresponding EPS I would go to file export not as export PDF by the way here I would only select the selection it means only the selected graph or figure that I would like to export um, and then I will choose let's say the EPS version let's call it um, test test.eps okay uh, it's in here okay let's save it for the moment fair enough now the funny part the open office automatically ask me the size the width and height so this is already already in line with with, 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 the, with the figure so I just click OK perfect so I have an EPS version ready for so, so let's go there so this is my test let's open it and here you go so it's, it's perfectly ready the EPS format is perfectly ready for for inserting into a latex file so if you know how to add a EPS into a latex file you are good to go it's it's perfectly the border is cut according to the to the size of the figure this is exactly what I needed okay I hope this helps thanks thanks for watching bye